So a few things to get to. The 700 Club with Pat Robertson. I didn't know this. Apparently they have a live audience and a prankster actually got in there. I love it when this happens. Listen to this. Might have never heard from this guy again. Yeah, thank Eric. And Eric uh, Holder, the Whoa. attorney general, said, well, we never thought we were going to lose him. That is nonsense. Absolutely. Eric Stockelbeck, thank you very much. Thank you. Please. abortion politicians <laughs> are American! Hey, we have, a, we have our own homegrown terrorist. What do you think? Yeah. Eric Stockelbeck, Lee Webb has the rest of our top stories from the CBN newsroom. Lee? Well, Pat, world markets dropped again today on fear. Okay, I I love it. I love it when that happens. To follow up on the George Wreckers scandal from last last week, this is the hilarious scandal of the anti-gay homosexual, and it's continuing. The prostitute's name, we now know, is Giovanni Roman. And he was actually interviewed over at the Joe My God blog. uh, And I invite you to go check that out. Wreckers contacted Roman through a website called rentboy.com. Roman actually had no idea that this guy, Wreckers, was an anti-gay Baptist minister who personally made sure that certain that many gay adoptions did not happen. Wreckers claims that his chiropractor told him he needed someone to carry his luggage. You know, I've never been or heard of a chiropractor who will set you up with a gay prostitute when your back hurts. I've just never I've never been there. I don't know. Not in our area anyway. Yeah. And we live in a very gay friendly area. But here I don't see any. I, I've never seen that happen. Uh, Wreckers tried to defend the trip by saying he was going to convince Giovanni not to be gay. But Giovanni says it never came up. Wreckers never said, you know, let's talk about this. There were daily erotic nude massages. And since Giovanni has actually confronted Wreckers privately about his anti-gay work just a hilarious story. Anytime people are going out of their way to make the lives miserable of homosexuals and it turns out they themselves are gay. It's funny, but it's also horrible. And the guy has already uh, George Wreckers has resigned from the group Narth, which hopes to turn gays straight, among other things. Uh, If you're in our local listening area on May 28th, Friday, uh, Tom Hartman, fellow Progressive radio host will be in town in Northampton at the First Churches in Northampton, Massachusetts. I'll be there introducing Tom. It'll be a great event. Check it out. Um, You can go online on WHMP.com and check that out. Last week's poll. Do you believe the oil spill in Louisiana is reason enough to stop the new offshore drilling that Barack Obama has suggested? 57 percent say yes. 30 percent say no. 13 percent don't know the new poll. Should the Times Square bomber be tried in an American court or in some kind of special military tribunal? Go to midweekpolitics.com and uh, cast your vote and we'll get results next week. New stations airing the show. Cambridge Community Television in Cambridge, Massachusetts, as well as Santa Fe Community Television in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Both great. We're thrilled to be on both of those stations. Many emails. You can email us radio at midweekpolitics.com or leave us a voicemail. Two one nine to David P on the George Wreckers scandal. He needed a young male escort to help him with his luggage because he had a bad back. Sounds like the ultimate lame excuse to me. The GOP is turning so gay. And another email. This is why people don't bother with church anymore. Well, one reason the hypocrisy will blow you back on your heels. And lastly, it should be obvious to anyone by now, a person who's so obsessed with gays and continuously rants and raves against gays is probably a self-loathing gay. It's very entertaining whenever this happens on the topic of Arizona immigration, accusing me of being a liar. You're such a liar. The law doesn't say they can stop someone because they look like they might be illegal. Well, it actually says more than that. It says they must. And it says that any discretion can be used. Am I misreading that? Well, uh, I think what they might be saying is that they're, you know, we that we're saying it's legal to do racial profiling. Right. And we're not saying that. We're saying that the door is open to behavior that would be very hard to distinguish from racial profiling on Dennis Kucinich and his claim that he would give up all of his corporate and lobby funding in exchange for good campaign finance reform. Mike in Springfield, Massachusetts says, sure, he would. And lastly, on the Glenn Miller interview popularity, maybe everybody went to hear Glenn Miller because they're looking for someone to say something real for a change besides your jello brained relativism. Okay, well, I don't know what to say. Maybe that is why the Glenn Miller interview was so popular. I don't know. 
If you aren't a Midweek Politics member, check out midweekpolitics.com slash membership, where you can actually hear us right now on the post show show. There's a whole other show that goes on afterwards, including behind the scenes and plenty more. Check out midweekpolitics.com slash membership for more. That's it for this week. Next week, ACLU attorney Bill Newman and plenty more. Please uh, don't tune out, but tune back in to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash midweekpolitics. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week. You've been listening to Midweek Politics with Dave Pakman. Midweek Politics is brought to you in part by Jackson & Connor, classically modern men's apparel in Northampton, Massachusetts, on the second floor of Thorne's Marketplace, and by DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at difdesign.com. To find out more about underwriting Midweek Politics, visit midweekpolitics.com. Midweek Politics.